Hey, what's going on, guys? This is uh, Tyler. Um, today I'm just gonna be showing you uh, another mod. Well, actually, not another mod, but a uh, mod that I use in my videos a lot of the time. Um, it's called Optifine. It basically allows you to um, up your F FPS uh, frames per second, and um, it allows you to be able to play Minecraft better. So, I mean, I know a lot of people have been having lots and lots of troubles uh, being able to um, play their Minecraft well and without it lagging and all this and that. So, I just want to give you a review of this uh, mod called Optifine. Um, if you go to your uh, if you go to your search bar, whichever one you want, I'm going to Google. Uh, in this case, and I'm spelling Optifine wrong. If you type in Optifine, um, the first link is what you want. Um, right now, it's only out for 1.7.3, but it will soon be released for 1.8.1. Um, I will show you here now. Um, so if you click on the link and you go into Optifine, you can see that uh, it's an FPS boost, um, and they're soon going to have an update to 1.8.1. .1. So if you just keep posted, um, you know, check back daily, uh, there will soon be an update for 1.8.1, .1, so then, uh, you know, you'll be able to play your game a lot better in the newest update. But as of right now, uh, it's 1.7.3, um, so I'm dealing with that. I'm just playing in 1.7.3. It's not really bugging me. Just I'm, you know, I'm just playing around in my world. As you can see, I released my 3x3 door and uh, an XOR cage just recently. So you can check out those videos. Uh, I might link them. Uh, if not, don't be surprised. But I I'll probably forget by now. But anyways. Um, this is what you want uh, when you go here. I know that it's very, very confusing, but you're going to want to download um, right from right here. And you're just going to want to install this on a clean, um, on a clean uh, .jar file of Minecraft. Um, so, uh, actually, I could probably show you how to do this. Actually, I'll show you. And if if you if you guys really want a tutorial on how to actually install this, if you're confused, um, just ask me to do a better tutorial. Uh, right now, I'm just doing a an overview of it and how um, how it's supposed to look and stuff. So, basically, you just go here and you just download this um, and then install it to your .jar file. And like I said, I would recommend uh, installing it on a clean file uh, and make sure you, you install mod loader first just you know so uh, Minecraft doesn't get confused but um, if you go down here you can look at the installation it's pretty easy pretty self-explanatory um, if you've done other uh, mods uh, this should be pretty piece of cake this does not work with every mod though it is one downfall to this um, I, it does work with a lot of the uh, famous mods, like uh, there is the Aether mod, I believe, or I, I believe that's how you say it. Hey guys, uh, I'm back. Um, sorry about the last video. Uh, it for some reason my graphics card keeps crashing on me when I keep using uh, Camtasia. I'm not sure what's going on. But um, anyways, I just wanted to get back to you and tell you that uh, this mod works with a bunch of mods, like famous mods. Um, you all probably know, those of you who uh, mod your game, um, know of probably Mod Loader, Too Many Items, and uh, Zombs uh, Fly Mod. So um, if you just want to go ahead and download this and test it out, like I said, I would install it on a new um, Minecraft.jar file. And uh, so then you can easily check out, see what uh, mods might work, what mods might not, and install them one by one. But like I said, I do know for a fact that uh, too many items, uh, mod loader, which you know you have to have for most mods, uh, and uh, fly mod, and um, there's another uh, single player commands does work with this. So uh, just to give you a heads up, so that way you can just in install all of them if you love them, uh, go right ahead. Um, so right now I'm going to switch over to Minecraft and give you uh, an overview of what this looks like and I'll be back in a sec. Alright guys. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm in Minecraft as you can see and um, it's a little bit laggy right now. I mean it shouldn't be laggy like this when you normally play but you might notice that it's a little laggy. Uh, the only reason it's lagging right now is because I have Fraps and up and recording and I have Camtasia up uh two at the moment um but i just want to show you that this is on uh far 
Um, I do have this on FAR and you can play on FAR. So what you want to do is you want to go into video settings and then um, actually let me change it to fast. Uh, you can have render distance at FAR and you can be playing pretty pretty stable I mean for the most part. And yeah, as you can see that changed my uh, clouds. But if you would like, you can manually change some things. Uh, you can change the fog to fast, which is going to um, really help uh, to, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's going to help speed up your uh, graphics and it's going to help, you know, make things look better. Um, this really doesn't do much of anything. Um, I'd leave it at zero. Looks best at zero. Uh, better grass. If you want to turn better grass on, go right ahead. Um, believe. Okay. Yeah. I. I can. I can get it. So this is what better grass looks like. Basically. Um, let me get a block. If I get uh, some sand or some grass, that is what your better grass looks like. And you can easily change that right in the game. So it's pretty nice. And you can see it's different around there. But uh, I'm going to take that off. Not sure that I really like that with this texture pack. Um, so I'm just going to get back to off. Uh, animations, you can turn water animation on, fire animation on, redstone, flame, all this stuff. You guys should be able to figure it out. Uh, and you have world, you know, load distance far. Um, I would keep it off. Um, if you want to check my settings, this is what I have. I feel is the best. Um, having. Uh, the load distance off, I mean load far off, uh, chunk updates, you just, um, maybe you want this up at 5. Huh, I'll have to check that out. Uh, you guys can obviously check into this, um, like I said, you know, I I'm just showing you what I do. Um, and it, as you can see, if you leave their mouse on it, you can see what's going on. Um, weather off. If, for those of you who don't like the weather and can't stand it, this is an easy way to just turn it off without having to press any buttons. Far view, uh, you're going to want that off. Otherwise, you're going to be taking up a lot of uh, space. Um, Preloaded chunks off. Uh, dynamic updates. Um, you want them on. Um, so then, you know, say you're using a bud switch. I, I think this this is my thought. When you're using a bud switch, um, it'll update it faster and the way it should be updated. And then this is probably what everybody's going to love. Time of day. Or, you know, do you want it only on? Do you want it only night? As you can see in the background, it changed to night. So just give me a sec. I will get out of this and show you guys. It is extremely dark in the world of Minecraft. Alright. You're probably wondering what is that huge thing over there? That is my mansion. <laughs> well, it's actually somebody else's mansion. I, I redid it from block one and uh and uh, somebody else's uh server, so yeah, that's that's a big thing. If you want me to do a video of that uh, just ask me. I can go onto the server and show you what I made on uh, his server. So um, just just give you a heads up if you want that. Just let me know. Um, so let me go back into the video settings here. Uh, you can go back into the world and you can turn uh, default on if you want. You know, time to be default. But I like it as day, so we're gonna go with that. Render distance, obviously that's normal. Bobbing distance, o advanced open G. P or GL. I'm sorry. Um, you want that at fast. Uh, it's gonna um, be your fastest thing. Uh, off is slower. Um, fast is fastest, as you can see, and fancy is faster than off, I guess. So you can go ahead and uh, mess with that. And then fog start. Um, if you want the fog to start near you, um, you know, you can do point two. If you want it to be away from you, you know, it's gonna be point eight. Honestly like it at point eight. I'm pretty sure that's what it starts at. Uh, MIP map type. Um, rough smoothing. Uh, that's just going to be, you know, you know, you, you can look through this. I, I, I can't explain this all the best, but that's that. And then if you want to turn the brightness up, uh, it's going to actually affect your lighting a little bit. So you can turn the brightness up if you want. Otherwise, if not, don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, clouds, if you want them to be default, I want mine to be fancy. 
So I can have my render distance on uh, fast, but I can turn my clouds to fancy. So, you know, for those of you who want, say, you like your uh, trees to be uh, fancy, you know, you can go ahead and turn them on fancy. But say you want your clouds to be, you know, fast, you know, you want them to be, uh, you don't want them to be so fancy. You can do that with this. Uh, you can turn the sky on, uh, sky off, you know, kind of makes it bluish, makes it grayish. Clear water, I actually want that on. Um, grass, you can, you know, you can change the cloud height. As you can see in the background, my clouds rose. Rain, snow, um, you know, if you turn the weather off, this isn't really going to matter. So, uh, if you want it, if you want heavy rain and snow, um, turn it on fancy. Have fun with it. And then at night, you can turn the stars on. So, that's pretty fun. It's actually nice. Um, some other things you have. I think I already, yep, that's what I already went into. This is always nice. Uh, smooth FPS. Um, actually, you want that on. I don't have that on. <laughs> um, and then smooth input. Um, this is if uh, your keys get stuck, you know, it uh, smooths that out when you're recording and stuff like that. And then if you want fast debug info. So that is basically um, what uh, Optifine is in a nutshell. Uh, so um, just comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. And uh, I will see you later. Peace.